It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Pain Capital Management, along with Chief Investment Officer, the man with the plan, happens to be my father as well, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this glorious Memorial Day weekend? Yeah, finally, Rob. Memorial Day's here, and um, I I didn't have to build the ark after all, so I'm, I'm very happy. The sun's out, and I'm ready to go. Well, hopefully uh, the summer is a sunny one, not a rainy one, because you never know in the Northeast here. So it's always a crapshoot. I just hope these uh, allergies go away. They're driving me nuts. Yeah, it's from one of the worst allergy seasons, uh, I think, of all time. Just like way too much pollen in the air. Mm -hmm. So, Bob, question for you. I don't know if you caught the, the royal wedding last weekend. I assumed you got up at like four in the morning so that you didn't miss any of it. Well, you know, I always get up early, right? I just wanted to check the weather. It was on every channel, so I ended up watching the weather channel instead of the wedding. So uh, a little trivia for you from the wedding, right. since we uh, we talk about money. The show's about uh, what to do with your money. How much do you think the wedding dress that Meghan Markle wore cost, just on, on a rough estimate? Well, that's a tough question for me because, you know, say yes to the dress is not exactly my favorite TV show. <laughs> I don't wear dresses. So I'm going to say $10,000. $10,000. You are like so off. You're so out of the ballpark. 340000 try, Bob, for a wedding for, dress. For a dress you wear one time? Yeah, one time, 340000 I mean, it's, uh, but I guess when you're going to be the, you're going to be the princess of England, or I don't even know what the, the hierarchy is these days, what's 340000 I don't know. It sounds like to me they need a fiduciary to manage their, uh, their expense <laughs> habits. Well, in, on top of that, the whole wedding itself was estimated to cost forty-five million dollars. So that's ridiculous. That's re that's just that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's good to be royalty oh. in Great Britain. I think that's the uh, moral of the story here. Better to inherit wealth yeah. than to uh, to earn it. <laughs> I guess. I guess they made money the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way, exactly. Well, we have a great show this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about. The retirement you've been dreaming about, you know, is it sitting on a beach in the Caribbean? Is it spending time with the grandkids? Or maybe it's playing golf every day. Bob and I are going to break down making your dream retirement become a reality. Uh, we're going to discuss being prepared as the saying goes. There's no harm in hoping for the best as long as you prepared for the worst. What unforeseen events do you need to prepare for in retirement? We're going to talk about some of those along with this week's financial pornography. There's a lot of stuff out there in the financial news media you need to avoid at all costs. And we have our star financial advisor on the show this morning, Frankie Lagrateria. She's going to discuss a real retirement case she worked on, just point out some flaws, mistakes, things that you want to avoid with your own planning and investing. So let's hop to it. So Bob, you, know, you and I have literally seen over like a thousands at this point, retirement plans that we built for people over the years, which is a sign that we've been in the business way too long. <laughs> <laughs> Some longer I mean, than others, sir. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You even longer than me, but man, I am no spring chicken. That's for sure. And you know, one of the big, probably the most important thing we do is figure out how to get people to their goals, right? At the end of the day, it comes down to, we talk about point A to point B. Point B, where I'm trying to get to, and point A is how do I get there? And literally, I mean, think about all the clients you have, all the people we've helped fund all those retirement dreams, and what are some of the, the different things that you've helped people fund, you know, really fund their retirement for, like some of the, the better goals or more exciting goals? Yeah, you know, you're so right, right? It's just not about paying your bills when you're retired and, you know, sitting around shooting rubber bands at the screen. You know, it's really about and living a life, you know, living a, a life well lived. And we send hundreds of thousands of dollars of dividends and interest out to clients' checking accounts monthly so that they can fund these dreams. And, and I just had a client who, um, you know, just took a big distribution because he's taking all of his grandchildren on a Disney cruise. I mean, you think about that it, you know, be who cheap, does Bob. it better than Disney for children, right? I've got a client that I can't get in touch with after, you know, one o'clock every day because he golfs with his grandchildren. He loves to play golf with his teenage grandchildren. 
They're driving the ball twice as far as he is, and he's loving every minute of it. Clients taking their grandchildren fishing or going on big trips, right? How many of your clients are taking river cruises this summer, you know, seeing all the wonders of the world? Yeah. No, I think more than ever, people are traveling to lots of different exotic locations that probably even like a decade ago, you, know, you wouldn't think people would be going to a lot of the different places around the world. So I think, yeah, it's not I think we've them become and their more going. They're taking their children, they're taking their grandchildren, I and mean, they're spending a lot of money, but that was well planned for years and years ago. Yes, exactly. And that's the key, Bob. It's the planning component that makes it all work. And even, you know, I have a client who loves what he does He's mm-hmm. a veterinarian. He has his own practice, but he doesn't want to work seven days a week anymore because he's in his mid-60s now. He wants to hang with the grandkids, but he doesn't want to retire fully. So we looked at a plan and just said, okay, what does it look like if you work less, which means you have less money coming in? Can we fund that from your portfolio or that income gap you're going to have now because you're not working full-time anymore? And the numbers worked. And for him, he loves the fact that he can go to work every day, not because he has to, Bob, because he wants to. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, how many physicians do we have, Rye, where they're way past normal retirement because they love what they do? They're passionate, you know, about their practice. But a lot of them are associated with hospitals or other medical groups, and they love having that big pile of net worth where they can quit at any time, and their employer knows that. So it's just able to go to work with the proper attitude of, you know, you need me more than I need you. And that just, you know, gives people peace of mind. And even though they'll never retire in in the terms of what normal retirement is, just knowing you can do whatever you want to do, whatever you, whenever you want to, and your spouse is well taken care of in the event you're not here tomorrow. Yeah. And I think the key to this is, and I know this, and you might be the same way, is you might not really care about the finances. And what I mean by that is it's just like it's over your head. You're not interested in it. And you know, again, with a lot of our physician clients, they're so good at medicine. They don't want to mm-hmm. know about money. However, you know the money needs to be taken care of. And that's like my client who's a veterinarian. He's like, just tell me I can do it. So yeah. you know, by, by someone putting a plan together for you, figuring out how things are going to get funded so you don't even have to think about it, just knowing that plan's in place so you can do the things that you want to do can be huge. Now, you may want to know all the details, but for a lot of us, we just want to know that it's handled and there's a game plan behind it. I mean, that just frees up so much mental space. That's the beauty of the 360 Financial Portal. They can go up anytime they want, whether it's Sunday night at 7 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning if they can't sleep. Just log in and boom, there's their net worth, there's their portfolio value, there's their goal, and showing that they're fully funded. So they could check in just for good feelings anytime they want or whether they care. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's the key to financial planning. It's, you know, we've said a lot and it sounds a little bit cliche, but it's peace of mind. It's just sure knowing is. that that part of your life is handled. And if you're thinking to yourself this morning, I need to get that part of my life handled. It's a lot of mental stress not to know I don't have a financial game plan. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, we keep 10 slots open and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. That's our full holistic review and it won't cost you anything. That's where we look at the whole picture. So if you're bringing last year's tax return, we have a CPA that'll review it. Make sure you're not paying unnecessary taxes. We have an estate planning partner. Bring in that will that you had done 20 years ago. They'll take a look at it, let you know what changes you need to make to your estate plan. And then finally, just literally get a brown paper bag, put them in a folder, just get all your financial statements. Don't even worry about getting them in order. Throw them in the bag. We're going to take all of them. We're going to look through all of them and build you your own personalized portal so we can look at everything on a holistic view, a bird's eye view, and look at all the key components. We're going to look at income. Income is critical in retirement. Are you going to be able to fill in your income gap? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? There's a lot of hidden costs in those insurance products, annuities, brokerage accounts, mutual funds. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio, and we're going to look at diversification. Is your portfolio built for the long term? What pitfalls do you have? If the market goes down, are you protected? We're going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine that age-old question, are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you, 
utilizing strategies now we've worked on for literally over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you need to do is call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will run for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan if you don't text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye Payne. We're the pains of no pain, no gain, financial radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer and Managing Director of Payne Capital Management. The global markets closed mostly unchanged on the week as earnings season winds down and companies delivered strong earnings up a whopping 25% for the quarter and with all indicators pointing to continued economic growth. Now, in spite of all this good news, equity prices globally continue to be buffeted by several headwinds. First, the fear of the Federal Reserve continuing to raise interest rates. Second, a trade war with China. And lastly, North Korea still has their nuclear weapons. Now, geopolitical risk came to the forefront Thursday when the Trump administration called off the much-awaited summit between them and North Korea. And they announced on top of that, they're considering new tariffs on cars and auto part imports. In addition, yields on the 10-year Italian government bond rose to 2.5%. Now, this is the highest level since 2014 and reflects the worries about the new Italian anti-establishment government, spiking fears of a new sovereign debt crisis in the Eurozone. Now, the 10-year Treasury yield fell just below 3% here in a good old U.S. of A. And the 10-year yield in Germany is less than a half of 1%. And on top of that, the 10-year government bonds in Japan and Switzerland yield barely anything. So I think it's safe to say that the U.S. 10-year at 3% is still the best place in the world to park your bond dollars. In summary, it's been a frustrating week and what's been a frustrating year of good days followed by equally bad days, leaving most portfolios unchanged for the year. You know, it really points out the importance of dividends and interest so you get paid while you wait. Now, trying to time this type of volatility always results in tears, and you want to continue to take advantage of the buying opportunities that these market pullbacks present. And you don't want to miss out on the gains that come in a big, booming bull market. If you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio built to win? Well, why wonder when you can know? Give us a call or text 844 752 6692-844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain. Now, back to the show. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain, Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to keep it simple for you because we're simple men. And that's why we put together our latest online video course, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot live. It's a simple three-part series that gives you a baseline for retirement, and you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH, that's BULLISH, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. Just text the word BULLISH to 555-888. It's a great, easy way to get the retirement planning process started. It's a simple series, gives you all the first steps you need to take. Simply text the word BULLISH, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And what we want to talk about in this segment is things that don't matter until they do. And in life, you know, there's a lot of precautions you usually take when it comes to really creating safety in your life. Like everything from having a fire extinguisher in your house, airbags in your car, smoke alarms in the house. Uh, just an example of things that don't really matter until they do matter. Bob, what are some of those same kind of safeguards we really need to put in place now, you know, before the house is on fire when it comes to our financial planning per se. Well, you know, the biggest gap that I see, Rise, you don't have all of your legal documents in one place because in a lot of cases, 
you don't even have a will. You're, it's so true. And if you feel alone, you're not alone. I think it's <laughs> something like 60, 70% of uh, people that come in our office, Bob, don't have a will. So don't be ashamed. But it's, it doesn't mean that you don't need to do something about it because you do need to do something about it. Yeah. I mean, there's so many inexpensive ways to get it done. Sometimes you have a lawyer in the family where you, you know, you'll have a, your advisor can recommend somebody that uh, you know, specializes in, in wills. You know, the, the tax planning is getting less and less complex. You know, there's less loopholes. The credit you know, that you have between you and your spouse is $11 million. So a lot of people have estates below $11 million. So it's not a big issue, but you have to have a will. You don't want the state to be in charge of your children or your assets. So you've got to have a will. Yeah. And I think there's a couple other simple baseline things you need to do, like just simply having a power of attorney. If God forbid you're incapacitated, making sure it's the right person who's making those decisions you know, on your portfolio. And a lot of times, A, you don't have it, or B, you have someone on there that you don't like anymore who has maybe passed away because you did this 10, 15, 20 years ago. Yeah, exactly right. Power of attorney, not just for your finance, but for, for your health. I mean, you don't want to put the pressure on the children to have to make decisions. You know, they, they'll fight over whether they pull the plug, you know, not to get uh, too morbid. But, you know, these are things you need to do to make it easier for people that are going to be here once you're gone. And like you say, these are things that don't matter until they do. You know, another yeah. big thing, Rye, beneficiary forms. I know, right? You might have like an old 401k or your IRAs with a, the brokerage house you work with where you haven't updated those in years and your life changes. I mean, how many times do we go through for our clients, Bob, and they have a beneficiary on there that's like an ex-wife or an ex-husband, oh. <laughs> things you definitely don't want on there. No, and, and a lot of times, you, you know, we end up, since we're a multi-generational firm, we have multi-generational families as clients. And I'm seeing a lot of our clients now are 40, 45, and, you know, they started with us when they got out of college, and they still have their brother or their sister or their siblings named as beneficiary, and they have a wife and two kids, or they have a husband and three kids. So these are things that have to be reviewed. And also, how about trustees, right? You know, can you think of any families that put the word fun in dysfunction? <laughs> Everyone but ours, of course, because ours is perfect. Everyone but ours. Oh, right. yeah. And, you know, you name somebody as trustee that your, your, that your spouse isn't even talking to anymore. You've got to make sure these things, these details, these tiny little details are reviewed. Yeah. And you know what? The thing is, too, it's not as hard as you think. I mean, signing a change of beneficiary form, you know, call your broker tomorrow, your advisor or look at your 401k plan. It doesn't take that long to change it. It's literally signing a document. And then even getting a simple will in place with the power of attorneys and healthcare proxies, very easy process. And we can even help you do it, but get it done. Not tomorrow, not, you know, do it yesterday. It's just like a simple thing that has a big impact later. The other thing I think about, Bob, we see this all the time, is as you're planning for retirement, we talk about this on every show, you're going to come to a point where you have an income gap. Meaning mm -hmm. when you stop working, you may be getting Social Security. If you're really lucky, you get a pension. Probably not. But how are you going to fill that income gap coming in and have an inc you know, a lifetime of income you can't outlive? No one really plans for that. They usually have a portfolio that's just like a hodgepodge of investments. Or they don't think about dividends or interest. You know, When you're working hard, you're benefiting from the growth of the economy and the stock market, you're real happy to have 100% of your money in stocks that are going up You know, in a big booming bull market. But, you know, we found people that had all their money in stocks like Amazon, you know, that pay no dividend. And they, you know, they keep building that position thinking, you know, everything grows, you know, grows to the sky. And then there's a big crash. And instead of holding on and, or diversifying, not only do they not have any income, they don't have any principal either. So it's, yeah. it's really, a, you know, that income gap is something you want to keep in mind and look at and analyze every single year of your life. Because I think the biggest fear, right? is when that paycheck's not coming in anymore, where is it going to come from? Well, the crazy thing about it is we can pretty much show you with high accuracy exactly where the income is going to come in and coming in from diversified streams, right? So yeah. it's it's the money's going to be spread out. We know that, that cash flow is going to be coming in from different sources. And I think the other thing you have to think about is like you just said, Bob, it's great to own Amazon. It's great to own all those growth stocks when you're in your 30s making the money. And if, you know, if it goes down, so what? You're still yeah. creating a lot, a lot of wealth. But as you get closer to retirement and you're in retirement, the game has changed. Your portfolio has to change and you have to know and pinpoint where those streams of income, where those streams of income are going to come from. And then that's exactly what we can create. And that's like such a powerful thing. How about our retired clients, right? You're retired and you're thinking, yeah, yield's important, income's important. And you start to reach for yield. 
there are a bunch of clients we have that invest a lot of money in a couple of individual junk bonds. And they kept saying, well, you know, this company's been around for a long time and, and the, look, I'm getting 11, 12 percent. Well, ask yourself, why is somebody paying you 11, 12 percent and borrowing money from you when they could borrow it for? You know, that just tells you how much risk is there. They yeah, don't well, think it's... about the fact what happens if that income stream is canceled. So you want a dependable in the income stream. You want it from high quality assets. Take a little bit less in yield. But getting money is better than not getting money. Wouldn't you agree, Ryan? Yeah, I think the key there is you want diversified, dependable income streams, right? That's the key. You know, Ryan, that's so true. And it's, I think the biggest risk and fear you have right now is, am I going to be able to fill that income gap and maintain that income both when I'm in retirement and prior to retirement? And if you're thinking, that's my issue, what we'd like to offer, if you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved at least 200000 for your retirement. My son, Ryan, and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost. And if you're one of the next few callers, here's exactly what we'll be able to do for you. We're going to review your tax return in light of the new tax bill that Congress passed last year. We're going to have your wills and your trust and your beneficiary forms reviewed. We want to be certain that your estate plan is not an IOU, the old IRS. And lastly, we want to review your portfolio, but I know it's a lot of work to pull out all those statements. So as the May statements come in, grab a shopping bag, start throwing them in the bottom of the bag. Don't open the statements if you don't feel like it. Bring them in. We'll do all the work. We're going to break your portfolio down and analyze whether or not you have the three key elements of a successful portfolio, diversification, fees, and income. You know, diversification is about spreading your assets around. It's important to know what you own. More importantly, understand why you own it. Fees are the biggest killer of return. The lower the cost, the higher the return. And there are lots of hidden fees in portfolios. So we want to analyze that for you to make sure you're not being overcharged by your portfolio. And lastly, let's fill that income gap. Let's be certain that you have a stream of income that you cannot live. And finally, we're going to tie it all together into one 360 Financial Portal will give you the ability to look at your portfolio at any time, but also see how you're tracking towards your goals. And we're going to answer that age-old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that paying capital management has been perfecting now for 43 years. We want to be certain that your family can get from your financial point A to your point B with the least amount of risk and the highest degree of certainty that can only be provided by a fiduciary like paying capital management. So call or text us now at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 safe for retirement. Take advantage of it. 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Might as well get a second opinion at no cost. Be one of the next 10 callers at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Game Financial Radio. It's time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Bob, what egregious, horrid information did you find out there this week in the world of financial pornography? Well, Ry, first of all, do you know who CalPERS, you ever heard of the term CalPERS? Do you know who yeah, they I are? Yeah, I believe that's the California they essentially invest all the money for pensions in California. So if you're a teacher, yeah. you have a pension, CalPERS is the one that invests the money. California, yeah, it's California's public pension fund. It's one of the biggest, if not the biggest in the world. And they got a letter the other day from the legislative representative to the League of California Cities urging the CalPERS money managers, the investment committee, to think outside the box because the 7% projection they're making for their returns just isn't enough. 
I mean, let's be real here, Bob. 7% a year on your money is pretty fantastic, and we've been in a raging bull market. So it's not like you can get those returns every single year because you're going to get years like 2008 where the market could go down like 40 50%. If we've been in a big booming bull market now for nine years and the politicians are still unhappy, they need even more money in spite of the fact they've had record returns. It's scary. And that's you know one of the problems with investing in general. It's like when you have your portfolio, a lot of times we tend to oscillate between fear and greed. When things are going well, we only want more and more and more. And that's a risky place to be because eventually the shoe's going to drop. And when it does, if you have too much money at risk, you're going to feel the pain, no pun intended. Yeah, I can't imagine if uh, they wrote back to the representative and said, well, yeah, we can make more return as long as you're willing to take more risk, which means if you want to make a lot more, you got to accept losing a lot more because markets are very, very volatile. There's no such thing as getting higher returns and taking less risk, correct? So if you're taking more risk, there's a big probability that it's going to go down before it goes up. Like most things in life with the markets, there is no free lunch. And I think that's important now, Bob, as you're building your portfolio, especially when you know you're getting closer to needing to live on your portfolio. Because if you're close to retirement or retirement right now, and the returns have been phenomenal, you have to make sure that your risk profile is right. Because, you know, hey, look, you're going to get to a point where things aren't going to go well. And if you're not protected ahead of time, you're out of luck. Well, you know, it's just another example of politicians who don't want to deal with the way things are. They want to deal with things the way they want them to be. And like you said, anytime you act out of an emotional desire, you know, for a specific rate of return, it ends badly. (laughs) That's so true. So true. We can learn a lot from that. I don't think I'd want politicians managing my money, but I I digress. (laughs) Another interesting tidbit I found out there this week in the world of financial pornography has to do with your 401k plans, Bob. Oh, yeah. 401ks. Yeah, there was a study by a company called Brightscope, and they found that 98% of 401k plan participants have access to index funds in their plan, which is a great thing. And we talk about this a lot. Owning Mm -hmm. low-cost index funds is better than owning higher-cost managed mutual funds, which you end up paying more and the performance tends to be less. Sure. The lower the, lower the cost, the, the higher the return. History demonstrates that over the last hundred years. So, Bob, I'm a simple man, as you know. If I raised you that way. <laughs> you did raise me that way. If I know that if I have the choice in my 401k plan to buy low-cost indexes versus higher-cost actively managed funds, what would I pick? Well, if you were educated, you would pick the lower cost fees, but a lot of people think you can beat the market. So a lot of people will go after the actively managed fund, you know, reading the brochure and and reading the marketing. Well, you're absolutely right because only 31% of total plan assets are in low cost funds versus Hmm. more costly mutual funds. That means 70% of us are in high cost mutual funds and we don't even have to be. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, you make that mistake over and over. I, I met with someone last week with $5 million, Ryan, and they had all these different mutual funds. 90% was in equities. One fund, one out of all those different portfolios beat their index over the last five years. Only one. And I think that's important, especially if you're building or a lot of your nest egg happens to be in a retirement plan. Maybe it's with your employer now or it's an old employer. It's really worth it to do a full cost analysis to see what you're really paying because a couple of things, A, if you're retired, you can roll out of that into an IRA and you can go into more low cost investments. But also, Bob, if you're still working and if you're over 59 and a half, you can still contribute to your 401k, but you can roll money mm-hmm. out of it and invest it on your own, again, in a more low cost manner. But for the most part, odds are your retirement plan at work is very expensive. Yeah, that's so true, right? And I think when you look at the average 401k, there are no bonds in that portfolio with permanence and definition. Right. In other words, your only choice to have a fixed income portfolio is in something that's not fixed, right? It's in one of those dreaded bond funds. Oh, Bob, you just hit on one of our (laughs) most hated investments again. We don't like bond funds. And you're right. In a 401k, you don't have any other option. The other, other option you have is, I have a client that I work with who came in recently. The only option they had that was really safe is called a stable value fund in his 401k. And guess what that was paying? Uh, what, 2% tops? Man, Bob, you're generous. You're really generous. It was paying 1%. 1%. 
One percent. Ouch. We can give you one percent in a money market fund. Why even have a plan? Yeah, exactly right. And the problem with that is we talk about this a lot is you might think your money is safe sitting in cash right now, sitting in a stable value fund earning 1%, but you're losing against inflation or cost of living. And I love this statistic, but think about it. Every million dollars you have today is worth a half a million dollars in 20 years because the cost of living is going up. And if you're getting 1% on your money that you have to pay taxes on too, by the way, you're losing money every single day. You know, and the other thing, Rye, is when you're paying a lot of fees into a mutual fund, they're eating up all the income that comes in. So a lot of the dividends that you would ordinarily be getting to compound or to live on is now going to a fund manager that you'll never meet to pay his fee so he can buy a, a, a mansion out in the Hamptons. Yeah. So if you're very, very philanthropic and you feel the need to help these fund managers secure their retirement as opposed to yours, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're thinking to yourself right now, I want to know what my costs are in my plan. I want to know what I'm paying. Do I have a low cost portfolio that's generating a lot of current income that I can use for retirement? Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, we leave these couple slots open. Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan. We'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full, holistic financial plan. If you bring in your tax return, we'll have that reviewed. Bring in your, your wills your trust that you had set up 10, 15 years ago. We'll have that reviewed. And finally, just bring in all those statements. Bring in your 401k, your IRAs, your brokerage accounts. Just stick them in a folder. We'll go through everything for you, and we're going to build you your own personalized portal so we can get a bird's eye view of your net worth. And we're going to look at all the critical components. Fees, we're going to figure out exactly what you own in your portfolio and what it's costing you. Do you have a lot of high cost mutual funds in your 401k? Bob and I are going to show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. Income is so critical for retirement. You need to fill that income gap when you stop working. Where's the income going to come from? We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio from diversified sources. And we're going to look at diversification what risks, what pitfalls you have in your portfolio. When we have another market crash, are you protected? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. And we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? Now's the time to act. Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but you're not going to have a plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752-6692. This is Rye. This is Bob. We're the pains of no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Ready for what Bob and Ryan have to say next? All right, everyone. Gird your loins. Let's find out. It's no pain, no gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I try to get you the most common sense, practical advice that you can use for your portfolio And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's a very, very simple baseline to get you started in the retirement planning process. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. Get started with the financial planning process. It's a very simple, easy to access course just to get you started. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about me and Bob, you can find us on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can sign up for our radio show. And yes, Bob's hair is real, but go check for yourself. You can catch me most weeks on CNBC, Fox Business News, with the latest commentary on the markets, what our outlook is, And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself or Bob, you can email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. And if it's a really good question, like every week, Bob and I will answer it right here on the show. 
And like every week, Bob, we got some pretty good questions. Going deep into my inbox here, I'm finding a good one here from Harold, who's in Brooklyn Heights, Brooklyn. He writes in, Bob, I'm still working, and I plan to work for at least another two years. But now I'm old enough to start taking my Social Security without being limited on how much income I can earn. Is this a recommended strategy? Harold, that's a great question. You know, we don't understand Social Security as a nation. We have questions all the time. Should I take it at 66? Should I take it at 62? Should I wait till I'm 70? Is that really an 8% increase in benefits? Well, all that stuff is true, but how you distribute your Social Security is really a personal decision. So, you know, Ryan, what I'd like to ask you is sooner better than later. I would say as a rule of thumb, yes. But, you know, to your point, Bob, there's hundreds of ways to take Social Security. And for all of you, it's going to be very different than what your brother or sister's doing or your neighbor's doing. Because, you know, a lot of it could depend on, let's say, for example, I have a client who has a younger spouse. I mean, they want to maximize benefits because they're 15 years apart. So for him to take the later benefit made more sense because we're not just thinking about his lifetime. We're thinking about his wife's lifetime, and she made less money than he made over their lifetime. So you can see how complex he can get very quickly when you're actually trying to figure out what's the best solution for you. Well, you know, the thing is, like every other complex issue, it's simple, you know, once you understand the context of your benefit in an overall plan. Right. So you look at your longevity, you look at your spouse and their spouse's benefits, and you can come up with a strategy that makes all the sense in the world. And, you know, the nice benefit about taking money earlier that you don't need is you can invest it. A lot of people don't factor that in. You know, sometimes if you take money earlier and you let it compound, you know, you're not going to break even waiting till later till you sometimes 80, 82 years old. So, you know, you got to ask yourself, right. Do you feel lucky? (laughs) I do feel lucky but I don't know how I'm going to live. And I think another thing, Bob, just to kind of add on to that point is in Harold's situation, it could make sense to take it earlier. You might be saying, wait, Ryan and Bob, but I get a higher benefit at age 70. But to Bob's point, that's four years that you're giving up a benefit. And if you don't need the money and you invest it, you know, and, and to your point, Bob, you could be like 81, 82 before it even is worth your while. That's a really, really big thing to think about and how that works in context with the rest of your plan. But Bob, I think long story short is we actually have a calculator we've built so we can show you how to optimize it. You need to figure out how to optimize it for yourself. You got to see the numbers. You got to see the numbers. I think that's, there you go. That's well said. (laughs) It all comes down (laughs) to that. The next question that was emailed in to us comes from Katerina. I think I'm saying it right. In Bucks County, Pennsylvania. She writes in Ryan... Hey, very nice area. My husband isn't inclined to do any retirement planning because he says he'll just keep working. Is this mindset okay? I guess I'm worried about what happens if he can't keep working, even if he wants to. Well, you got me sold on that one, Katerina. Yes, that's the point, right? What if, God forbid, you can't keep working? And Bob, we talked about this earlier in the show. You know, Financial planning, a lot of it's just about that whole psychological peace of mind. Sure, right. You know, know, why wouldn't you be able to keep working? Well, you know, your health, your health can go downhill in a hurry. I mean, so many of our clients over the years who wanted to keep working couldn't because of things like cancer and heart attacks and stroke. I mean, it's and death. You know, you just don't know how long you're going to live and you don't know if you have a ticking time bomb. So if we love what we do, it's wonderful. If we can't keep working because of health, that's a big problem. And what if your company goes under? You know, what if you you know, compete head on with Amazon today, right? Yeah, I want to keep working, but if there's no company left, how do you keep working? Yeah, exactly right. I mean, there's just so many unknowns. And I mean, that's one thing we've learned in our 40 years of collective experience is, man, there's so many unexpected things that happen. And just planning for the worst, expecting the best, as we said earlier in the show, is is so, so key. And, you know, you just want to know that if whatever that black swan event or, or whatever could happen, somehow it's covered. And in best case scenarios, it never happens. But, you know, at least you plan for it if it does. But, you know, Rye, Katarina's point, in every joint account relationship I've worked with and you've worked with over 43 years, there's always an uninterested spouse. There's always one spouse who makes the decisions, who's interested in the finances. And what happens, God forbid, that spouse is gone. 
how does the other spouse operate? How can they know where everything is? Yeah, and well, I think that's where technology is just has to be used to your benefit. And that's why we always talk about our 360 portal is just to have everything in one place is so, so therapeutic. And literally, I mean, what we can do now is we can have all the different institutions talking to each other. So you just log in one password because I hate having like 100 passwords. You can see all your net worth in one place. You can put a vault in there so the legal docs are in one place. But I mean, these things, you know, not only for your own peace of mind, but man, if something happens to you and your spouse has to now take a helm of the ship, I mean, it's just like, it's night and day having everything already lined up and put in the right place. You know, Ryan, I look in the mirror every morning and I still see that 18 year old, you know, that used to run 70 miles a week. And you Somehow I don't see good, the Bob. gray hair and the bags under my <laughs> eyes and the scar tissue in my stomach lining. You know, we all get older. We all have to understand that nothing's going to change, but why not plan? You know, why not have run those what if scenarios? It's not just for you, but for your family. Exactly right, Bob. Financial organization is financial therapy. I'd like you to ask yourself, on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized do you feel? On a scale of one to 10, ask your spouse, how financially organized should you be? And I know we're all going to answer at 10. And if you'd like to be at 10, all you have to do is be one of our next few callers. If you'd like to have all of your portfolios, all of your financial information in one spot where you can view your total financial plan in a holistic fashion to know what you own and know why you own it and have all your goals displayed, plus your progress towards those goals, whatever you feel like looking at it. All you need to do is be one of those next few callers. And here's what we'll do for you. We'll review your tax return. We'll have our estate attorney review your wills and your trust to be certain that you don't have an estate plan that's an IOU to the Internal Revenue Service. And lastly, we'll take all of those statements, no matter where you have your assets in custody, put all those envelopes in a shopping bag, bring those statements in, we'll sit down, we'll analyze it for you, we'll break it down into a very simple three-page spreadsheet, which will look at the three key elements of a successful investment portfolio, diversification, cost, and income. We want to be certain that you know what you own, and we want to be certain you know why you own it. We want to look at your cost. Low-cost portfolios outperform high-cost portfolios. It's common sense, but you don't know where those fees are unless somebody shows you where they're hidden. And lastly, we want to fill that income gap. Whether you're in retirement or preparing for retirement, you know, the goal is to retire someday, but more importantly, you want to be able to stay retired. And the only way that happens is with a dependable income stream from a high quality portfolio. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting for over 40 years. We're going to answer that age old question for you and your family. Are you going to outlive your money? Or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies we've been perfecting now for yes, four decades. So don't waste time. Call or text us now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's a full holistic review. If you have over $200,000 safe for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, get a second opinion at 844 844- 752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain financial radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts. And rest assured, the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Ryan. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right. And that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage. And not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word CASH That's C-A-S-H, CASH, to 844-752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. 
Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I, as you know, are simple men, and we always try to keep it simple for you. And that's why we put together our, our latest online video course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Live. It's a great baseline to get the retirement planning process started, and you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. Great way to get the financial planning process started. We made a very simple three-part series, and you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. And now we have a very special guest on the show. Drum roll, please, if we had one. Our star financial advisor, Frankie LaGrateria, and everyone wants to be one of Frankie's financial friends. That's what I've heard anyway, Frankie. (laughs) Thanks for being on the show this morning. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, this is our spotlight segment where we take a real financial plan every week and we just look at some of the mistakes or what we call pain points that a retiree or soon-to-be retiree has been making with their planning. So why don't you talk about a case you worked on and some of the solutions that you came up with to make this couple ready to go for retirement? Yeah, so I uh, I met with the sir, and he is getting close to retirement, did a really great job of accumulating wealth, and is now getting ready to move on to his next step in life. You know, he wants to retire. He wants to possibly move south. He has, like, a lot of thoughts and just needs someone kind of helping him out, making a plan. So we sat down, we took a look at his portfolio, and there was a few things that caught my eye. One, um, the first thing I saw when I looked at his investments, lack of diversification. I see you Mm. looking at it, Ryan, and you can see, I know Ryan's upset about this because he is the Uh. most bullishly international man in the world, and there is lacking international in this portfolio. You got to own all your asset classes. What was his biggest concern just here? Just out of curiosity, when he came in, did he know he wasn't diversified? Or what urged him to call and say, I want to be one of Frankie's financial friends? So the big thing was just taking a look at his portfolio and saying, you know, I know I did a great job getting, you know, accumulating wealth, but I know that I'm moving into a new state and I know my portfolio needs to be there too. So he's like, I, I know I'm not doing everything I could be and I just need some guidance. It's a peace of mind. You it's know, Frankie, as I look at it, this, this cash position just screams at me. Why is there so much money in cash? And Bob, I hear this so many times, and I don't know how many times you've probably heard it as well, but I sold a house and I don't know what to do with it, or I sold X, Y, and Z and I don't know what to do with it. Mm. I hear that as a number one excuse whenever I see a lot of cash in someone's portfolio is I sold something and now I don't know what to do. Well, I think it's kind of overwhelming because it's like, okay, interest rates are starting to go up, so you're afraid to put money into bonds because bond prices go down when interest rates go up. The market's been up for nine years now. So it's like, do I put the money in the market, then it just crashes on me. So you feel like you're between a rock and a hard place, kind of. And you're earning no interest on the money sitting in cash. So it's just like, what do you do? You know, Frankie, it reminds me of an old Wall Street Journal cartoon. There's this uh, person sitting in their lounge chair reading the Wall Street Journal. And the quote balloon comes up over his head saying, should I put all my money in the market and make it crash? Or should I stay on the sidelines (laughs) so everybody else can continue to make money? (laughs) <laughs> so that's, true. It's a universal thought process. People think that they have some impact on this multi-trillion dollar marketplace. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Bob. And you see it all the time. And I think that is such a big fear people have is what they don't realize is sitting in cash, you're losing money. You think it's the safe offer, but you're losing money. You're losing against a uh, cost of living. You're losing against inflation. And unless you have your money just sitting in your mattress, you're probably paying a fee to keep it somewhere. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. And I think going back to that whole diversification thing is the thing you have to realize when you get your money invested, it's not an all or none proposition, right? I mean, you're putting money into lots of different markets. We talk about diversified streams of income, having things like real estate exposure in your portfolio, commodities, the global markets. Not everything has been straight up like the U.S. markets. There's a lot of good value out there where you're getting a lot of nice income that you can live on in retirement that isn't just putting your money in one place. So, Ryan, are you saying that we should be like Megan and go internationally? (laughs) 
I know that. I've been holding on that one. (laughs) (laughs) You're referring to Meghan Markle, the new. uh, (laughs) What is her actual title now that she's? uh, She's the Duchess of Sussex. The Duchess. I did not know that. You told me she was the Princess of Great Britain. Now, come on. No. (laughs) No, Just what I know. (laughs) Well played, (laughs) Frank. But uh, no, it's actually a very good buy right now. Um, The dollar is up, which means you know things like emerging markets are at good value. So if you're sitting on a lot of cash and you're I just don't know what to do with it. Maybe look into an international ETF. Well, also, you know, I think um, you forget that if you compound your money at 6% a year, your portfolio doubles every 12 years, every 12 years. And if you simply increase the yield on your underlying portfolio, in this instance, Frankie, how much more income are you going to be generating for these folks? Within the first year, Bob, about $51,000. <laughs> That's crazy. And, and that has nothing to do with the market going up or down. That's just income coming in that you know with pretty much all certainty it's going to come in over the next 12 months, like rental income in a way. It's just like rental income. So again, keeping with my fun puns on the royal wedding, <laughs> cash may be trash, but compounding is king. Or queen. Or queen. <laughs> or, or duchess of... Uh, duchess of Sussex. <laughs> So if they compound this interest over 20 years on their existing portfolio, that's another 830000 in net worth they'll have in 20 years? Yeah. And that is just, again, in in cash flow compounding. And that's why Einstein said it was the eighth world wonder. I know a lot of people think, let's keep it in cash, let's be safe. But again, you know, you're losing money because of interest rates. You're not making anything on it when you can have an income rich portfolio. And that's just, you know, having dividends from your ETFs or your stocks and having interest from your bonds. You can make that cash work for you. And yeah. you're not taking you know, Frankie, on the risk that people day, are afraid of. Time passes and markets operate. Neither cares how you feel about it. <laughs> Beautifully said, Bob. Beautifully said. And then, you know, I just got you put this just to kind of wrap up here on the, on the last point point here is like they need $75,000 a year in retirement. The guy's not working anymore and he essentially has social security coming in at about 30,000 a year, which is about 44,000 that he has to fill in his income gap and just the income on the portfolio is over $51,000 a year. That's awesome, right? It's not a not all or none proposition. You just filled in that income gap by properly diversifying. Exactly. And here we are not even touching principal. You're investing in our bonds, which have a fixed rate of return. And the worst you can do is get that interest and all your money back. Sounds like a great idea to me. Same here, Bob. Sounds like an offer you can't refuse. (laughs) Sounds like the royal treatment. One more. That's I'm done. I'm done now. (laughs) Uh, You know what I call this, Rye? This is another total financial masterpiece by Frankie who wouldn't want to be a friend of Frankie? <laughs> <laughs> well, having said that, uh, if you're thinking to yourself, I need a game plan like this. I need to figure out what my income gap is. I have too much money in cash. I have too much money that's not generating income. Here's your shot to do it. We have only a few slots left, but if you call right now, myself, Bob, and Frankie Lagrateria will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full review just like this. What we're going to do is we'll take all of your statements, just put them in a folder, brown paper bag, bring them in. We'll sort through all of it, and we're going to build you a personalized portal where we can see everything on a holistic level, and we're going to break that portfolio down. We're going to look at, number one, income. Can we optimize or increase the income on your portfolio to meet all your income needs in retirement? We're going to show you how to do it. We're increasing the income on this portfolio to 51000 a year. Awesome. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in those mutual funds, annuities, insurance products, brokerage products. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. It's not an all or none proposition. Is your money properly spread out over the long term? If we have another market crash, is your portfolio protected? We're going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all in to one total financial master plan and determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? But more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now? Myself, Bob, and Frankie have worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. few slots left. Don't miss out. Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, 
our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. There's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Wow, another great show and another great day to have uh, the famous Duchess of Pain Capital Management. <laughs> the Duchess of Pain. I like that. <laughs> it was great having you on the show, Frank. Always enjoy it. Thank you very much. And a special thanks for this Memorial Day to all our, everyone in our armed services. So thank you for your sacrifice. Absolutely. Big Bob, what are you doing to celebrate the Memorial Day weekend? Right, you know, the barbecue's getting out, and uh, we're have the official opening of the 401. That is your bar right outside of your office there. It's good to celebrate Memorial Day weekend Bob style. Well, have a great weekend, and as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.